Now, everybody's heard of a plasma, but what exactly is a plasma? Well, actually, here is the most famous example of what a plasma actually is. It's our sun. And because of that, and because stars make up almost everything that we see in the universe, plasma actually represents over 99% of everything in the universe. But what exactly is it? Before we get to that, here's another example of the sun. It's a close-up of a sun spot. The dark area is actually dark because it's a little bit cooler than the surrounding area. A little bit closer to home, we see plasma all the time. Anytime you see a thunderstorm with a nice bolt of lightning inside of this very bright channel is what we call a plasma. And of course, if you're like me and you've played with one of these plasma balls, this is probably your most familiar interaction with plasma. You can see the tendrils there inside of the gas inside of this glowing ball. That's what we call a ball of plasma. Now let's dive into the details. What is it exactly? So you were taught when you were young that there are three states of matter. There's solid, liquid, and gas. And the way you get to the different states is by adding heat or adding energy. You start with solid ice, you add some heat, they begin to jiggle and slip past each other to make a liquid. If you add even more heat, that liquid gets more and more energy, eventually breaking free and floating away as a vapor or a gas. But the fourth state of matter is what happens when you take that gas, any gas, and add even more energy to it. So as you might guess, if you add more and more energy to atoms that are already vaporized, then what happens is the electrons that are surrounding each of the atoms or the molecules of the gas, the electrons get so much energy that they are ripped free of the atom. And if you add even more energy to that, then the nuclei and the electrons just move faster and faster and faster, and you have what we call a higher iron ionization percentage of the gas. So basically a plasma is the state of matter where the electrons are physically ripped off of their atoms and so they become a soup of charged particles, negative electrons and positive nuclei which contain the protons. Now you can make plasma in different ways. In the center of a star it's made because of the gravity crushing everything and effectively causing more and more collisions. For a bolt of lightning it's caused because of the electrons which are stripped off due to convective nature of the clouds and creating what's called an electric field. There's an electric field between the cloud and the ground which are tugging on the electrons, eventually pulling them off. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.